I really want to figure out how to make a backdrop. So I've seen it in one of Glenn's videos, but I don't quite remember how he did it. So I'm going to, let's bring back the grid. Okay. So I'll make it pretty big. So I guess I can always make it bigger. Okay, now what I think he did was let me make it longer. the color of this. Actually, let me just go ahead and use a Metcat. So what I think he did was, I'll probably have to look at the video again, but selective mask. Something like this. Invert. Oh, maybe pivot. Okay. Let's see if I can just make another mask right over it. Maybe if I remesh it. Ooh, heavens. Okay, no remeshing, no remeshing. So maybe if I just smooth it out. You know what, I think the issue is also the mask is, okay, here's another issue. The mask was not very clean. So that might have been an issue as well. So see how there, there's that blur? Hmm. How can I get that? Um, let's see if, if I can subdivide this maybe. That works on other things. So we'll subdivide it a couple times and now let's see how that selective mask looks. It's <sighs> much, okay, that's much cleaner. Let's move, let's move the pivot up. The pivot point right to the edge. Let's see what that does. Then 
might be what we have to do. Let's do it in less steps. So there we go. And I will move this pivot point here. Oh, so I might need to just move this manually. Let's see. Okay, that's a little bit better. Pivot. It's not too bad. I probably don't even need it too, too much straight up than that. I think that might actually be fine. I'll do one more. Move the pivot point. So this is one thing that kind of bugged me, is I always wanted that. Uh, everyone making art in Blender has that nice backdrop. It must be easier in Blender or something, because I always see people... Now let me make sure that I'm doing this. If I'm going to do it, I want to make it straight. Okay. I want to do it straight up and down. That looks good. So I'll go to select mask, clear it. Okay, so hopefully I can... Let's see if it smooths. Oh, it does smooth. How exciting is that? I don't know why I'm whispering. Not too worried about the edges warp, things like that. I just want it to be smooth. I mean, it looks pretty smooth. Okay, so let's bring this up a little bit. Get it off the grid. And now let's, let's bring something in. Let's bring something small in. Add to scene. Should I bring Horace in? Import file. So we'll bring in our iced bun. Well, let's go back to PBR. 
so we can see. Let's turn our environment off. I don't think I need to be in orthographic anymore, so I'll go in perspective. I really need to bring this front up, but let's add some lights. turn this bring this color down as well so there we have one and I'll just clone this can probably bring it off the backdrop a little bit. So I'll bring these lights up and I'll move our iced bun up. Whoops. Actually, make these a little bit softer. And we'll add another light in the back. Where is this light even pointing to? Jeez. Let me change this to another spotlight, point light. Ooh, that's bright. So we'll make it another point light. I usually like to change the color of this one. And actually, let's change the color of the plane. I'm going to leave it white. Just play around with some light settings. Make this a little more blue. Make this one a little warmer. That looks nice, and now I'll just turn, uh, change Turn the environment back up. I don't want super bright. And honestly, these lights are a little...
pretty intense. I just want to get some of the light off of the back wall. So I might even bring it back further. I'll probably do the same with this. I'll just bring it back. Okay, and now I just want to, I want to make the backdrop a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go to plane, I'm going to go back to selective mask, make sure I'm on the top. Actually, I don't know why I do that. I'll just select this other bit. Now I'll take the transform tool, or the gizmo, and Spread it out that way. And then I'll do the same thing with selective mask to the sides. Although I might be able to just use the gizmo without even worrying about that. Give myself extra work. Get rid of the lights. Get rid of the grid. Do some post production. I think it looks pretty good. Our backdrop looks our backdrop looks good. I'm happy with that. Alright, so hope that help hopefully that helped if you need to do a backdrop. Uh, again, shout out to uh, I think uh, I think Glenn Southern. I think it's Southern GFX. Um, I watch a lot of his uh, his free videos, so I learn a lot from there. And um, you know, I like to sort of just go into Nomad and take a lot of things that I see from his videos and other people's videos, Erica, Kassab, other people's videos, and I just try to learn and figure it out and use all them to shout outs to those guys for doing great tutorials. Um, and really like, you know, keeping, keeping people like me who want to learn more about the app with plenty of, uh, content. So shout out to them. All right. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can come on and chat to me when I'm doing my live videos. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Drug Free Dave, and Drug Free Dave 3D for all my new 3D work. I have about 11 Procreate digital art Skillshare classes and I have one Nomad Sculpt 3D class. I'm really excited about Skillshare. I have a Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance, so maybe I'll see you on Facebook. As always, keep drawing and I will catch you all in the next video.